Oh, hello. I don't know why I started like that. My, my fan's not next to me, I can't do it the normal way. Uh, anyway, this isn't it. This is the introduction and I've got a few notices, notices, a few announcements. Uh, firstly, big announcement. Uh, I now have a theme tune. Coming up in a minute is my theme tune, followed by the trick that I've pre-recorded. Ooh, shadows. Anyway, um, in a minute you'll see, you'll see, you'll hear my theme tune. Tell me your thoughts down in the comments. Uh, another idea, uh, well, an idea. I want to do a competition because, I'll be honest, I want more subscribers. I was planning on keeping it a secret until I got to 52. 52 is all I want. 52, the number of playing cards in a deck, and then I was going to do a giveaway. But I've been stuck on 47 for ages. And the more, more annoying thing is I was actually on 48. Now I'm on 47. Ooh, whoever you were. Ooh. <sighs> so I was planning on doing a little YouTube story. I looked up how to do a YouTube story and apparently you need over 10,000 subscribers to do a YouTube story. So th I'll do my announcement now. Theme tune, possible giveaway when I get to 52 subscribers and theme tune. So without further ado, no wait, I've remembered another announcement. My uh, another announcement is that it is now September, so term time has started. I'm back to back to uni. I'm at uh, Theological College at the minute, so I'm I'm in my uh, third and final year, the degree year. Um, so I don't know how often I'll be posting. I aim to post. My dream is to post twice a week, uh, maybe a funny video and a, a trick. But it might get down to one a week. It might get down to whenever I can. Apologies. Stick with me. Like, comment, subscribe, blah, blah, blah. Thanks. Now, without further ado, the theme tune. The Great Wu, the Great Wu Ding, the Great Wu Ding's gonna do a thing. Hello and welcome back. This is the second episode in my new series called Shuffles, Cuts and Slights. And this is a slight. It is called the Marshmallow Slight. This is heavily, heavily, heavily influenced by the uh, Marlow tilt. The Marlow tilt. My variation is the, of course, Mallow tilt. So, the uh, the Marlow tilt, you need a deck of cards. I'm not actually very good at the Marlow tilt. Um, I, find I struggle to, to get into it. But essentially, you need a little... Huh, a tilt on your card. Can you see that? Uh, this is would be used in, say, an uh, ambitious card where you... Oh no, let's take this top card. Uh, Queen of Spades. Queen of Spades and you you want to get that to the top, so you, you would put it somewhere in the middle of the deck, like this, somewhere in the middle, and you'd actually put it uh, there, um, because of the, the use of the, the Marlow tilt, you, you would think it's in the middle, uh, but no, it's actually, of course, on the top. Well, on the top, second from the top, and you do a double. But that's the Marlow tilt, though. Go and find a, um, a tutorial for that somewhere else, because here, I'm not concerned about the Marlow tilt, but the uh, the Mallow tilt, the Mallow tilt. Um, but of course, the, the Marlow tilt is from the the great Ed Marlow. I've heard so much about him. Um, I've only just got into magic, as you'll know, I'm sure. Um, but I've I've seen a lot of YouTube videos. Uh, I've watched a few DVDs that my dad, who is actually a magician, sent me. Uh, I've even been on a couple of Zoom uh, lectures to a, an official magic club, so, and I've heard the name Ed Marlow quite a few times now. He, he's big in magic circles and, well, the magic circle and magic circles. Um, he, he's big in, in magic. He's, he's a, a, a very notable magician who's produced lots of uh, books and lots of lots of slides. Um, he was actually a machinist. He worked in a shop, uh, but he, he adapted the machines. He improved them so that they produced eight hours worth of work in only one hour. His boss didn't know that. His boss thought he worked eight hours a day. He actually worked one hour a day and uh, practiced cards for the, the remainder of the day. <laughs> Which is, uh, well, ethically, morally a bit devious. But of course his tricks were a bit devious, weren't they? Anyway, 
without further ado, we'll go into the uh, mallow tilt. So, uh, let's, we're doing uh, ambitious card, ambitious card. You, oh, let's go with the, the, the king of diamonds. Can you see that? Is it too, I'm quite far away today. The king of diamonds. And uh, with the, the mallow tilt, it would go <coughs> in there like, like that. The mallow tilt is, is slightly different, okay? So what I would do in the real world, I would use a bit of uh, misdirection. It's very difficult to misdirect the camera. Uh, in, in real life, I would maybe give the participant, the spectator, that card and say, maybe just inspect it, make sure it's a genuine card, or maybe sign it. In fact, that's good. Yeah, you, you sign it, and then you will know that whenever we see that card again, it's definitely your card. To misdirect the camera while I prepare for the <clears throat> mallow, mallow tilt, I'm going to do a little blurry thing. But it does only take a second. You can do this in real life while they're signing the card. So if my editing is good, blurry, 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 blur, and we're back. Yeah? Okay. And, th and that's all it takes to prepare for the, the mallow tilt. And it's exactly the same mechanism. You take their card, now signed, thank you. Uh, and you're going to put it back somewhere in the middle. But actually, this time, you're not. It's, it's horrible because you're actually, you are putting it. Can you see this? You are putting it second, but quite obviously second, because the tilt's quite big. Um, so it doesn't actually look like it's going to, into the middle. It looks like it's going second from the top. Um, we've kind of, we've, we've got rid of the goodness of the Marlow tilt for the sake of the Mallow tilt, which is, which is okay, because it's not about rising card, the Mallow tilt. No, no, it's all about your card uh, producing uh, a marshmallow. Ah. There we go. Mm. I, would, mm, I would perform this with smaller marshmallows because the ones this time are just very difficult to. Because what is it? No, I I'll say all that again. I'd perform it with smaller marshmallows because when you've actually got the tilt with one of these in, it's the biggest tilt you've ever seen. <laughs> I don't know how it looked on camera, but that, that it's, it's stupid. Uh, so if you can get smaller uh, marshmallows, I would suggest doing that. The only reason I didn't was because um, I wanted to film it now, and I'm very impatient and didn't want to wait. So, mmm, these are nice. Of course, you'll have to practice a lot, so you'll be forced to uh, consume several of the marshmallows. If you notice on this bag, it actually says, can you read that? I've ripped it a little bit. It says share size. Uh, one, one tip is to uh, rip that bit off and uh, hide it. And then um, you're justified in eating the, uh, the whole bag. <laughs> so that's it. That is the uh, Mallow Tilt. My original, <clears throat> highly uh, influenced by the Mallow Tilt. Uh, my, my original... Uh, Mallow tilt. Thank you. <sighs> I had a really weird dream last night. A really weird dream. Um, I, I I dreamt that I ate a massive, massive marshmallow. I woke up. My pillow had gone. Gone completely. It's a, it's a mystery. It's a mystery. The great woo, the great woo ding, the great woo ding just did a thing. What did you think? Yeah? Great woo ding did a thing. Let me know what you think. Thought. Ah. Oh.